everybody. So I got this Olivetti Latera 32 here, and I'm going to make one good one out of two parts ones. Anyway, the draw band on this one is broke, and it, uh, it's not even all there to know its length, but where it broke at the other end is easy to figure out, because Olivetti uses a hoop at that end. This end that goes into the mainspring is just a knot. Okay, so on this other one, I'm going to it's missing the rollers and stuff. I gotta use this nut over onto this one. This is missing that uh, here. No. Yes. No. Uh, <laughs> well, whatever. So the way that goes under, you can see it going under the carriage, and then it comes up through and then hoops onto this little tang at the end of the carriage rail. Okay. So where that other one broke was right about there where the knot goes. So you just add on the, the hoop and length and measurement. So by taking the broken piece of string and running it along a piece of 40 pound fishing line, um, let's get the end of this here, you can find the length. Well, once you find the end of the... there it is. So, putting a knot at that end, that's easy enough to do, right? So you start at a knot, you get a length, and then at the other end you'll put a hoop. Okay, so I've already actually made the piece, but the hoop is what I wanted to show you how to make. If you can make a figure eight with the string, and then you run that back through, like that, and then up under, like that. And if you're lucky enough to grab it and keep a finger in there or something like that to tighten it up on, like that. Okay, now that's a, that's a big hoop, but you can tighten that up. So if you stick something in there, like say a paintbrush or a pencil or whatever, and you hold that, now you can tighten up that hoop. I want it only about that big, so I'm going to put another knot now uh, in back of it to catch it. Like that. And now I'll add probably a few more knots if I was going to use that hoop. But since I've already made... And that's, that's a nice hoop. And then, since I've already made that part, though... Let's get this all out of here now. Um, I've already made a uh, new draw band of of the length it needs to be, and there's the hoop, there's the knot, so, um, and I've taken the body off of this one underneath, you can see how that goes, you, you get the, you get that off like that by taking the carriage all the way to the right after you've unscrewed it. Okay, so this draw band needs to be run under this carriage. I don't know if I don't have all the lights on or what. There we go. Okay. So I want to get that draw band to match up how that other one was. So it's going to run this carriage rail here. And I'm going to stick my head in here for a minute. If I can get the right end under there, I should be able to. Should be able to. Let's take a look here. What is going on? Okay, I've got my my spring hook poking out at this end here. So I'm going to put that hoop on there, like so. Pray it stays. And try and bring it back out. Fingers crossed. The other end, yes. Like that. Okay, I know you couldn't see it happen, but it happened underneath there. And we now have a, a hoop end on a draw band coming out this side. So we'll attach that on here, where it goes on that little tooth here of the carriage rail. Out of here and try and show you 
that going on right there. This is impossible to hold. Okay. So she's on. Now, go back here. There. Holding it tight. Now you want to wind that mainspring. And then I've checked that center screw. That's tight there. Unlike the Remington, which has a you need like a screw driver like that where it's got the two sides and the, this one the middle um, comes out like that so you need something like that to get in between those special ones but this one you don't this one you can just wind and you catch the knot where uh, let's see if we can so it kind of catches in that mainspring in a in a groove um, of course, this other one isn't going to show us where the groove is because it's under there, like that. Can you see where it goes? Right there. Okay. Okay, so we're going to try and do that here. So, this one winds to the right. And there's that groove I'm talking about, right there. So... We'll get winding up here. Now don't get discouraged if you're winding and you don't put it. Yep, you hear that? It, don't get discouraged if you're winding and you put an extra wind to it that you didn't expect or whatever. It's, it's only going to take a certain amount. And when it's unspun, you really have no idea exactly where it is. But you can guess pretty well where it is. I'm going to say, let's put the knot in right here. And... Um, put this in right here and just see how it does. It, it's a trial thing. If you don't like where it is, you, you add another wrap. Um, I need something to push that in there better though. Better than this big old screwdriver. Too much junk in the way here. You have to make sure that that spring is in enough to allow you to get that to go in there too. Because if it's not in enough, there. If it's not in enough, it won't. And then you want to let it off slow so that it can so that it can take up around the mainspring um, like it should. So I'm trying to keep that thread. Rat. Okay, it's on. I hope my head wasn't in the way for all that. Now it should. Yeah, there it goes. Now I don't know if it needs one more wrap or not. I guess we'll find out. As long as I should have had the margin set. Okay, we're one short. Uh, it needs one more wrap. But as long as you keep the margins set all the way at their ends too, when you do that, you know. Um, yeah, it's out of gas at about 65. So it needs one more wrap on it. But that's how you do it. I'll take that back. Uh, what are we getting on here? Put one more wrap on her. Again, I'm trying to keep these videos kind of short so you get the idea, though. But that's how you do it. So, if you put... One more wrap on there, and that will be, this is where it gets mighty tough, because if you go too much, you're going to goose something up. Here, I'm going to catch it on there right there. I'm not even going to take it all the way forward, uh, not forward, but to the top. I want that to, to go in there. Now, this is impossible, of course, when, when you want it to happen. That will be enough. There is no magic tool for any of this. Oh my god. You know, there is no magic to any of this. Holy cat. Okay, let's see what happens. 
and again, I haven't cleaned any of this thing up, so there could be a bunch of stickiness going on in there too. Stuff hitting, you know, I, I hope not. I'm choosing this one over, yeah, there she goes. Alright, and of course the bell doesn't want to cooperate because it's sticky, but we are at the end. It goes all the way down the carriage, so she works. So that's how you do a draw band on an Olivetti. Alright, have a good one everybody. Take care.